when it comes to this conversation, Gainwell supposedly told uh, Miles Sanders, we're only going to make each other better. And I, and I thought to myself, that kid's wise beyond his years. Like, like, first off, your reaction to that, and has anybody jumped to mind a younger player that came to the Eagles while you were there that, that sort of was wise beyond their years? Uh, to me, that, that, that kind of screams when I listen to it and, and you put it in context for me a little bit. It, it says that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take your job. I mean, because that's basically what it is. He's trying to take his job, but he's trying to be respectful about it. You know, listen, the kid's hungry, and you have to like that. You have to love the fact that the kid is hungry. Now it's on Miles Sanders to make sure that he does everything that he possibly can to keep that young man in a position where he can't take his job. Mm -hmm. But you have to respect him coming in and saying that they're going to make each other better because it's the truth, because you're, you're, you're going against each other every day and you're, you're fighting for the same position. You're fighting to be seen. You're fighting for reps. I mean, it, it sounds to me like a kid that gets it. The closest thing that I can think to that is, is when Trey came into the league. You know, Trey came in from Florida State. I think that was my first year was here in Philadelphia. It was like my first year, Ray Rhodes year. Okay. And I remember Trey coming in, and he was the highly talented uh, offensive lineman because we had issues at that position. So Trey comes in, the first-round draft pick. Trey comes in with a chip on his shoulder because I remember we did one-on-ones, and I remember the first one-on-one -on -one that we did. Trey got the best of me. He said something to me like, yeah, it's going to be like that all the time or something like that. <laughs> And I was like, okay, let me, well, let's get, well, let's go to work then. Mm -hmm. Let's go to work. And, and we used to go at it and practice early on. And I remember him saying, hey, man, you know, iron shop is iron. And, and, and I never forgot that. And so that, that's, a, that's what I could compare that to. Because going against Trey every day, I, I look at other offensive linemen when I played against them, I'm like, boy, this is going to be a cakewalk. Because I'm I'm used to going up against this behemoth of a man every day. Because you talk about Trey was like it had a lot of my like Trey liked to talk in practice. Trey would would talk trash, and he was big and he was physical. So it just made me want to play physical. So when I played against somebody that was like that, I just put Trey Thomas face on him and tried to beat him like a drum. <laughs> no, but I, I get that I get that because he's telling the truth. He's mm -hmm trying to make his name and you know he's going against another good running back so hey you gotta let him know hey hey man if if i catch you slipping i'm gonna take your spot so he's gonna make it better because that means every morning you wake up you got to bring your a game and yeah it, you know i i had a similar thought in that it it almost sounds threatening like like it, like along bit. along the lines of what you're saying it almost sounds like in the most the the best possible sportsman's way to threaten, yeah. that's the way to threaten. Like, hey, we're going to make yeah. each other better or I'm just going to pass you. Like, that's basically what he's saying. Listen, let me tell you. Uh, when 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 they drafted Derek Burgess, I'll never forget it. We drafted Derek Burgess from <laughs> Ole Miss. And, and uh, Andy Reid called me. And he was like, he said, hey, we drafted D. Burgess. It's no way in shape or reflect on you. Yada, yada, yada. I'm thinking to myself, Coach, that's BS. <laughs> that's great BS. Mm -hmm. You draft like look at Derek Burgess and look at me. Right. I mean, we're kind of mirror images of each other. The same size, the same type of player, say play the same position. And I knew he was coming to take my job. And I did everything in my power to help Derek Burgess along as much as I possibly could. But I was not about to let Derek play. I remember it would be times where we'd be in a game and, and they'll say, Hey, Huey, you want to take a breather? And I look at the sideline and I see Derek and I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not about to let you. I'm not about to let him show what he could do because I knew he could play. So I was like, I'm not about to give him an opportunity. Right. So it was on me. Like, I knew he was there to replace me, but it was on me to make sure that I didn't give him the the, the rope to hang me with. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I had to stay on my A game all the time. Had to work worked out a little bit harder every day. Uh went through one-on-ones and pushed a little bit harder because I knew he was coming. And when he got his opportunity, you see what happened. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's one of those things, man, you respect it because that's a part of the game. But at the same time, you do everything in your power to make sure that the guy behind you doesn't get a chance to shine. Wow. Well, I, I remember that whole process. And I remember people thinking that Derek Burgess was really talented, but not getting an opportunity. Now I know why. Yeah. Uh, 
But then he goes out to then he goes out to Oakland and has like what a 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, wasn't Derek Burgess also was he the one that didn't buy the chicken on the plane? Did not buy the chicken. Derek Burgess did not buy the chicken. But Derek Burgess, but you know what? To to this day, I I speak to him every now and then. I haven't talked to him in a couple weeks, but but he he understood that. He he was like, damn, I see now why you didn't want me to play. Because it was like hell. You don't want I was like, hell no, I didn't want you to play. Because I knew what you I knew what you could do. But by seeing me, it made him a better player. And he went out there and he did his thing. And and that's how it goes, man. Same thing with Trent Cole. Only difference is with Trent Cole. I couldn't stop him. I was cold then. I, was too cold. I couldn't fight him off. It was a wrap. So I had to let it go. <laughs> I I was gonna say, wasn't that eventually your former ball boy that came up and took your yeah, job? I was Trent. Yeah, it was Trent. But you know what, man? It, that, that's the game, man. Right, right. You come into the NFL knowing that, and you have to know this, Mark. They're always looking to replace you, regardless of what they say, regardless of what position you're in. Oh yeah, you're always looking to be replaced. 